It's an addiction just now starting to get some serious attention. Video games. Summer break is about to start, and a study by the American Medical Association says it's possible up to 5 million kids in America show symptoms of video game addiction. A local college professor releasing a new book about it, 7 South Newsroom reporter Josh Taylor, has details. Ryan G. Van Cleve says his habit of playing video games took up hours, caused family fights, cost him his job, and nearly everything else. And I said, my life is so out of control, I might as well just jump. The virtual world had taken over. Those hours aren't coming from nowhere. They're being taken away from other aspects of your life. And it's usually your friends, it's your family, and it's your job or, or school. Like a drug, he says the cold turkey method was trying. Just as bad as you can imagine for any other type of addiction. I had 103 degree fever, I had the shakes, I couldn't sleep, I couldn't eat. Uh, it, was, it was a nightmare. Looking for an easier way to help those hooked, the Ringling School of Art and Design professor has just released his latest book titled Unplugged. I think that this is the new global epidemic. China and South Korea already called this the number one public health crisis. A 2007 study by the AMA reports close to 90% of kids aged 8 to 18 play video games. Of them, more than 5 million may be addicted. Right now, as kids wrap up the school year, it's Video Game Addiction Awareness Week. The reason that it falls at the end of May or in early June each year is because, particularly this, you've got so many kids who now have this abundance of free time. Van Cleef has also been contacted to come talk to the troops. Video game addiction is a huge problem. They have so much downtime. They want the escape from the, the rigors of whatever it is that they're doing. The numbers continue to rise as generations of gamers grow. The average player is now 35 years old. He says help has to start with those closest. Just keep an eye out. It's not that video games need to be ejected from our lives completely, but it's that we have to have some common sense approach to it and have a sense of balance in our lives. Also, look for those who fib about how long they play. Van Cleve says um, he still mashes a, a few buttons every games, now and then. I do play some, but we're talking less than a couple hours a week, which, you know, compared to my 30, 40, 50 hours a week years ago is much, much better. For the Seven Town Newsroom in Venice, Josh Taylor, ABC 7 News. Van Cleve, who lives in Sarasota, released his book called Unplugged this week. You can find it at all major bookstores and online. He will be signing copies at the Borders Bookstore in Sarasota this Saturday at 1 o'clock.